Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going through how you can add your patterns into text. So this works really great for greeting cards or something like that. And then I'm also going through how you can take an image, not a repeating pattern, but an image and add that over multiple letters in a text. As you can see, I have already typed out the word hello and it is still in the editable text. Before you can add patterns to your letters, you need to go up to layer and convert to curves. And it automatically groups all of this together. So right click and ungroup. Selecting the very first letter, I'm going to click on the fill tool and then go up to the top and change type to bitmap. I already created a folder for this, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the first pattern. And you may notice right up at the very top next to the preview of the pattern you selected, there is a lock. I think it's automatically not selected, but make sure to select that so it stays as it should and it, is, and it doesn't stretch one side more than the other. So I'm just going to rotate this and I think I'm happy with it like that. One thing you can do, you can go into your pattern and grab a color and change letters to match with your patterns. And grabbing the middle letter, I'm just going to add in that second pattern. So it's just a nice little way to add a little something different to your design. It's actually really easy to do. Now, if you happen to have one word and you want the particular pattern or even just an image to go over it, there is a couple different ways of doing it. So for this example, I'm just going to type in USA. So usually around the time of Olympics, you'll usually see different countries with their flag over the top of it. So I'm using that example. So once you have your country or any word that you're using typed out, the first way of doing it is you could go to file, place, select your flag or image, place it in your document. And just like we've done in other videos, create a clipping mask by dragging this below. And as you can see, it has now taken the shape of the text. And you could actually do the same thing if you wanted one pattern to go over the entire word. So just like before, go to bitmap, select, and as you can see, it has now taken the shape of the entire word. And you could still go ahead and convert to curves and then having all of them selected or in a group, you could go through that same process of doing the fill and bitmap. And honestly, if you are having it printed, that would be the method I would recommend. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.